On the right hand side we've got some toolbars that you can use. You can rotate your drawing by 90 degrees. You can use the cube on the top to change your perspective. You can zoom out, you can zoom in and then reverting back to my viewport. This last icon here is the option of turntable or arc ball. Turntable is a very controlled movement. Pressing control at the same time results in the rotation of the drawing as if it were a turntable that is only rotated around the Z axis. This avoids any unwanted tilting from occurring. In most cases you should use the turntable. The other option is an arc ball rotation. As the name suggests it rotates the project as if there was a big transparent ball around the portion of the drawing you are looking at. Therefore this movement is more evident. If I right click again I have the option of circle around and this gives you the ability to view this interchange for example in a 360 degree perspective. As a recap and using our previously defined viewports let's take a look at some of the functions we looked at in this project. Exiting the render, we're done for this project so I'm going to close it and then move on to our final project.